I wonder if all the radical feminism is going to be saying this was too much toxic masculinity. So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. What is really on Pokeos and Pokeramas? I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Model Renaissance Man. If you are someone who's been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel, from comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What's going on, folks? Appreciate you guys all being here. Make sure you follow me up here, over there, right there, and right here. I appreciate you guys all checking me out and uh, listening to me getting ready to talk about this particular subject. You guys all heard about what happened to tragedy in Kansas City with the um, uh, shooter and the shooting that happened. But there was some good that came out of this. Some brave men, and in particular, a brave man who eventually got some help from another man, took it upon himself to be a hero. And we always say this a lot of times, whenever something would hit the fan, it's most likely going to be men who are going to risk their lives to protect those, first and foremost, of his family or himself and those around him. This is an awesome video, and I'm not going to spend any more time yicking and yakking, but I do want y'all to tell, uh, I do want to tell you guys, make sure you get into your cell phone, let somebody in your contact list know about this channel and encourage them to subscribe to the channel. With further ado, check out this video. Out front now is Paul Contreras and his daughter, Alyssa Marsh Contreras. They witnessed the shooting and helped tackle someone to the ground who was taken into custody. And Paul and, and Alyssa, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, what a terrifying day. Uh, Paul, you, you were there and, and there you, you shared video here uh, of the moment that you helped tackle this person. What can you tell us about what happened in that moment? Uh, I just heard somebody yelling to stop this guy, tackle him, and he was coming in the opposite direction. So I just, you don't think about it. It's just a reaction. He got close to me. I got the right angle on him and I hit him from behind. And when I hit him from behind, I either jarred the gun out of his hand or out of his sleeve. Because as I'm taking him down to the ground, I see the gun on the ground. So I take him down and I put all, all my body weight on him. And then another good Samaritan comes over and is helping me because I kind of got him high and the other guy gets him around his waist and we're just putting our weight on him. And he's just fighting to get up, but we're, we're fighting to keep him down. And another Samaritan comes over and puts his weight on us. And we're waiting for the cops to show up. They finally, well, they get there. And uh, the second cop gets there, the third cop gets there. Then they pretty much take over. And we, I, 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 I'm standing there for about a minute or two. You know, me and the cops didn't even have like one or two words, you know. Wow. Once they had him and got him cuffed, I sat there for two minutes with all my three daughters. And then we just, we we walked away. We, we headed toward our car. I mean, it's incredible. And you're, and you're there with your three daughters. I mean, obviously Alyssa's with you now. Paul, can I just ask, when you say uh, that the gun, you don't know whether it fell out of his hand or maybe out of his sleeve, right? And when he went down, then, then the gun goes on the ground. Did you see him fire the gun? No, no, I did not see him fire the gun. I just, when I tackled him, I seen what I seen. Like I said, out of his hand or out of his sleeve. And I, I taking him down, I seen the gun on and, the ground. And, and Alyssa, you're there with your dad and your sisters. I know you took this video after uh, when, when your dad had, had, had tackled this man uh, with the other Good Samaritans as he describes it. And then the police officers come as your dad just walked through. So now we see the multiple officers have this man pinned to the ground. 
what did you see during all of this? And, and what would you, were you even thinking watching your dad do this? I mean, it all happened so fast. I think the most alarming thing was when we saw cops chasing people and then seeing a young teen or kid just completely coming at us. And then I noticed just everybody in the crowd just kind of scatters and runs. So from that moment on, I knew, okay, something wasn't right. And so seeing my little sister along with my older sister just completely run. And I didn't want to leave my dad's side because who knew what could have happened or if they needed help. So I was just there to make sure, you know, his hat, his phone, his wallet didn't go missing in the process of, you know, him getting this offender down. And Paul, I know police at this point don't really have any details. I mean, they say they've, they've got individuals and I guess it's unclear if one of the individuals that they are holding right now is the man that you tackle. We, we don't know yet uh, unless unless, you know, but we don't know a motive. I mean, did you hear anything from this? This man as uh, it, when you got him to the ground, did he, did he say anything? Um, and what did he look like? You know, when I when I tackled him and I took him to the ground, he was wearing like a big, bulky, like work jacket. So when I got him to the ground, he was face down, and his hoodie was on, his hood was on, he was face down, uh, and I was on top of him, keeping him down until, like I said, another good Samaritan. Was, was holding him by the waist down with his body on him. So I really did not get a good look. But as I was holding him down, I didn't know if he tried to bite me or just tried to claw at my hand. So I took my hand and put it outside to hold him down with the jacket in between us. Because he was, you know, I'm, I'm holding him down. And he, we're fighting each other. He wants to get up while I'm holding him down. Then another guy helps me. And then, you know, it, it just, it seemed like a long time, but it's probably like 15 to 30 seconds. I can and only, then, yeah. He, he, yeah, he, he was fighting the whole time, you know, fighting the whole time. And we, we were fighting him to keep him down. We didn't want to let him up and take off running because he had one gun. He may have had another one in that big bulky jacket. Right, right. You couldn't even tell. Now, now it gives some context to what you're saying that it could have been in his sleeve, right? I mean, when you talk about this bulky jacket, Alyssa, this happens, yes. and and your father runs to tackle this man because you hear shots, and this guy's this guy's running right with his bulky jacket. Can you describe what the shot sounded like? So from the moment it, it all happened so fast, like I've said, but it wasn't long after the celebration was all done and everybody was kind of dispersing and going back to their cars probably a minute or so later and you just hear pop 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 and like I said we were at a celebration and I think a lot of people thought it were fireworks because nobody really ran or anything and I assumed if people you know noticed it was gunshots or something then we all would have you know been out of there really quick but then as soon as we see people getting chased and then cops running and then not long after my dad tackling somebody, it was it soon came to, okay, those weren't fireworks for the celebration. It was gunshots. Well, it, it, thank you both so much for sharing this. I, I can only imagine just sort of how uh, traumatic that was. Thank you for sharing, and uh, incredible to imagine, Paul, that you you who are unarmed, I, I guess, right, that you would run and chase someone who had a gun, and uh, it's, it's incredible. I didn't know he had a gun until I tackled him, and that's when I seen it on the ground. Yeah. So, I don't know. It was just a reaction. Well, thank goodness for people like you. Thank you both so very much. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely 100% hats off to that guy. That was absolutely brave of him, very heroic of him. I absolutely love this. I want to hear more stories like this. Hats off to the man at the Joel Osteen Church that took out that transgender maniac yeah you heard me i said it i don't care if they weren't transgender if they did something like that i would call them a maniac psycho crazy that's what they are but anyway even the ones that did this in this crowd at kansas i don't care whether it's a dispute between gangs whatever whatever you want to call it that was stupid that was dumb that was completely irresponsible to sit there and fire like that whoever you had beef with in a crowd in a crowd i'm so glad that this man did what he did. If it was me, I probably took a couple of shots and threw some elbows at the back of his head while he was down. Anyway, I know Ty, geez, yeah. This is crazy. Somebody lost their lives and people got injured. That's crazy because of something like this. Dumb stuff. Anyway, 
to that man, shout out to you. And I saw that your wife scene kind of got a little involved in there too, according to the video. Shout out to both of y'all for what y'all did. You are a freaking hero. And I hope Kansas City give you some shape from a fashion of a medal or something from the mayor of the city. That would be awesome to get something like that. So hats off to you. Everybody else, what do you think about this? If this guy is able to see this video that I'm doing right here, wouldn't it be awesome if you guys left him an awesome comment? Don't y'all think so? Do y'all think he deserve a comment? Leave this man a comment thanking him for his heroic actions and whatever it is that y'all would like to say to him because I'm pretty sure he's going to end up knowing that people did videos on him, and I hope he sees this. That's awesome. Anyway, don't forget, double-check and make sure that you still are subscribed to the channel. Get into the cell phones. Let people know about this channel. I, I, I'm doing my best, y'all. Try to slow down. Get into your cell phone. Go to the contact list in your cell phone. Anybody that's in your contact list who views principles, lines up with yours and mine, encourage them to subscribe to this channel. Yeah, yeah, the peanut butter. Appreciate it, folks. All right, I'm Ty Smith, modern renaissance man, hoping to pray that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing, and most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also, right here, is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But like right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny. It can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel. Because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.